All right, we're getting somewhere in our ASP.NET 101 video series. Uh, this is going to be making it work. I think we've set ourselves up for success. As we said before, we could have just splatted the data onto the page and de declared success, but we want to do it right. Right. So in the last video, we created our own service to be able to do all that work for us without having to clutter up the rest of our code. Exactly. We tried to impose uh, the single responsibility principle on our code. We have a class whose job it is is to get that data. And if we did it right, our web page won't even know whether it's a database or a web service or a file. Doesn't need to know. Ignorance is bliss. Indeed. <laughs> so let's find out if that's true when we try to make it work uh, with data on a web page. And if you are following along, just a reminder that you can go up to github.com slash .net hyphen presentations. We are working on the Contoso Crafts workspace. So that's the code that we're doing here. And some of the gists and places that I'm copying from will all be listed there in the readme. So you can follow along or pause this video, of course, if you think that we're going too fast. Yeah, really convenient. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just take a moment and remind ourselves of where we are at, if that's okay. We've got our data coming out of a file. Mm -hmm. Again, poor person's database could come from anywhere. Yep. Our product, that is the C-sharp representation of the JSON. And then our service that knows how to pick that file up and turn it into a list of, or in this case, an array of products. Uh, and then we wired it all up in our startup, so we told ASP.NET all about our JSON file product service. But we really haven't done anything with HTML. Yeah, we're all the crafts that I was promised. I, th there's someone said there would be crafts. Yeah, I think now that we have the service, now we got to figure out which pages actually get to use the service. All right. Well, if we go over here into pages, there's a couple of things going on here. We've got an index. .chtml, mm -hmm. and we had changed that early on. Yep. Uh, that page, I assume, will have some crafts. Uh, someone to yeah, some crafts? I think it makes sense to stick all the crafts front and center from the moment you get to that site. Okay. So this is called a razor page. That CSHTML is C sharp HTML. It's a really interesting syntax where it's kind of HTML and it's kind of uh, C sharp. Yeah. It's interesting because you can type HTML and just do like mm -hmm. that, but then as soon as you hit an at sign, and then there's C Sharp. It lets you do kind of that server side thing that you mm -hmm. normally have to you know, create a separate That's file a really good JSON. point. This is not JavaScript. Nope. This is not running in your browser today. Uh, we'll have some things that will later, but right now this is all running on the server side. So the work that's happening is happening in the web server. Yep. So let's go and do this. Let's notice that this has a directive at the top. It says at page. Hey, this is a page. And then it says at model. This is interesting index and index model. What is index model? Well, there's a little bit of a lie that's happening over here, and this is interesting. Nobody wants to be lied to. Uh -oh. But this is a page, and there's another uh, file. It's like the friend of this page. It's a buddy page. That's the kind of the code behind, or what's called the page model. So here's our page, and then here's what the data looks like when it's about to go on that page. Uh, so I can't output anything as HTML until I have some objects that describe it. So we need to figure out how to, uh, how to wire this stuff up. We've got this list of products, and we've got this page. Maybe they can know about each other. All right? All right. So I want to click on that, and oh, my goodness, what's happening here? Oh, good. Goody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You sound thrilled. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> about loggers. <laughs> uh, well, so that's a great point. The first thing we notice is that there's like a logger. What's a logger? I don't know what's going on there. What this is, is it is a page model that is the, the friend or the sibling or the buddy. It's the sidecar for our index.chtml. I could have put that code all in one page, but it's nice to have them separate. Yeah. And this is another model. We keep seeing this a lot. This is a thing you see a lot where you've got a constructor with some stuff as an argument. Mm -hmm. and you, might, you saw the logger right away, and you're like, ah, what's that? <sighs> well, logging is a service that is made available to you by ASP.NET. And we're saying, I want to be able to log this to a file or log that to the Azure or the cloud or whatever. You don't make a logger. You ask for one. And you ask for one by simply listing it in your arguments. It's pretty great. It is. It's not really intuitive, though. Like It doesn't feel immediately like, oh, that's obvious. But if we think about it, what are some other services that I might want? Maybe a JSON file product service. That right. sounds like a good idea. So JSON file product service. And remember, we have to hit control dot, or we hit the little um, light bulb, mm -hmm. and we let it know about that. And I just got my using statement at the top there. So we'll say JSON file product service, this? and uh, what are we going to call it here? Uh, we can call it product service. Product service deal. Okay. 
this is again important. We're not newing it. We're not. Oh, it was, see yeah. a little little yeah. thing there. What I forget? I forgot it's my the comma. Good old comma. Yeah, it's always the comma. The bane of all debugging. The million dollar comma. Yep. What we can do here is just to just put this on separate lines. I could go and ask for other stuff, right? If I had yeah. a, a service called foo and a service called bar, I could go on and on and on and on. What I'm doing is I'm declaring to ASP.NET, I need some stuff. Go get it. This is super important. Remember before, we told it about the service. We did. And now anyone who asks for it will get one. This is really cool. That's pretty sweet. This is why we did all that work for two, because you're like, where's the Yeah, graphs? what's the point? <laughs> what's like, the point of all startup this? Startup file? Like, who cares? Now that I know how to do this, I can make all kinds of services, do all kinds of different mm -hmm. stuff, image services, and services to do this, and services to do that. And anyone can ask for yeah. one by just putting it in their constructor. It's great, because you're again, you're not cluttering your code with all this stuff that you maybe want to reuse in the future. That you want to reuse. I appreciate that you said that, because it's all about reuse. And this whole thing has been about making code that I can use in multiple places. Yeah. That only knows how to do one thing. It's worth pointing out that the JSON file product service doesn't even know what's on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, now notice how we take the logger and we stick it into a variable for loggers. We kind of need to save this JSON file product service aside. So public uh, JSON file product service. Notice how I start typing autocomplete. Pretty great. Tab, that's my friend. I love my tabs. Um, and let's call it product service. That'll be the name of that thing. Yeah. And our product service should kind of have products available to it. Um, I mean, our page, rather, should have products. So this is interesting. The index page, as we had said before, should list out products. Yes. So its model, the non-visual part of it, should have a list of products. Mm -hmm. So we need to go retrieve those products right. from that service. So let's figure out a place to put them. We said that they were an I enumerable, right? We're mm -hmm. going to keep a, you said it was, could be a list or yes. whatever. We'll say whatever a you product, want. yeah. Now again, a squiggly. Let's do our. Little helper. Oh, now we're telling oh. it about models. See, responsibilities. Models are re responsible for one thing, services for another. That's cool. Uh, so we have an I numeral product, and then let's call this products, plural. Great. And then this is a clever thing I saw recently. You can get them, which is cool, but it's a private set. Oh. Only, only this class can set them. That way, nobody can mess them up accidentally. That's pretty nice. Yeah, because we don't want to have somebody else puttering around in here and messing up our. And the products. fact that it lets you use that in that shorthand. Isn't that nice? Um, is really nice. This used to be way longer. Oh yeah. Back in the day. All right. Now this is cool. These are special. Razor pages have an idea of an on something on get mm -hmm. on post on put. Those are all words that you hear in the HTTP world. Yeah. Right. I usually think, only hear about get and post. Same. Yeah, those are usually the most commonly used mm -hmm. ones anyway. So. so when someone gets this page, what should we go and do? So in this case, I'd want to retrieve the products. So why don't we call our product service okay. and, you, and call its, uh, I believe we created a method called get products. All right. So we will say products service or product service, mm -hmm. uh, which is this variable here. Notice how Visual Studio actually makes it uh, gray. And then, yep, as you said, look, I hit dot. Get Great. products is available. I see success and victory coming soon. No red lines. Oh, no red lines. Ship it. Sign. Yep. <laughs> okay. So what's cool about this is we asked for a service available to us. We are holding our products and we're holding it in a variable called products here. This is public. So now index pages know about products. Cool. And we didn't have to even change anything here. This model, the model associated with this page, now knows about products. Let's see if that is in fact true. Sweet. Okay. So what do I need to do on this page to actually output some data? Mm, in the short term, let's yeah. do this. Let's try this. In the short term, we'll, do, we'll split this up into a couple of videos here. Why don't we do this? For each uh, I don't know, let's uh, say, product? Eh, product. Yeah. Thank you. Let's say product in model. This is interesting. Model is a special word. Model dot Products. Okay. For each part, we saw for each is before in our C sharp one. And then let's just do. Uh, and again, that's that cool razor syntax. Like yeah. you wouldn't normally see all that information if you're just doing straight HTML. That's a good point. And notice that I'm smoothly going back and forth between HTML and C sharp. Yep. So I'm just going to make a, a header here and I'm going to say, I don't know, product dot, um, what was it? Is there a name of products or are we at an ID? Title. 
How about that? Makes sense. Let's do title. All right, so I'm just going to do that. And I noticed that I put that here, and I'm just going to put the H2 right next to it. I don't even know is if this is going to work. Test? I think this will work. Just a test. Let's see if we can get some data because we've been promised crafts and it's all been lies so far. <laughs> so I'm going to hit Control F5 to go and build that. Good. Oh, no. All right. So it's going to go and give me an error, which is really interesting because it's telling me exactly the line number of it that it's happening on. And it's saying object reference not set. So product service is null. And it's literally, literally pointing to the line. That's wrong. So that's cool. So even though I was writing code over here, clearly we've done something wrong. Index.html on git. Let's go back over here to our, where's our page here? Oh, it's that Oops. first one. Thank you. All right. So, ah, look what we, look at this. We had our logger and we uh, set it. But right. we didn't set our product service. Yeah. That's important. Product service equals product service. Right? So it was, in fact, null. So the error that it told us was That's reality, correct. which is pretty cool. So I'm going to again hit Control F5, or you can hit Start Without Debugging. And let's try that again. Errors are going to happen. It's part yeah. of life. Oh, ooh. Oh. We have data. That looks like some success. All right. We've got data. So we've made it work. Yes. In the next video, we'll make it pretty. Yes, because this does not look very <laughs> appealing to me right now. <laughs> Why would I want to buy anything off the site? <laughs> Hang in for the next video. Cool.